We are LMTV, Linmar Television. Linmar, your news starts now. Good morning, Linmar. It's Wednesday, March 25th, 2015. Here's a look at the stories making news on your Linmar campus. Our top story, testing week is just around the corner. LMTV's Becky is here with a special guest who has all the answers to your questions about the test. Becky? Joining me is Mr. Goodell. Thanks for stopping by. Good morning. Good to see you. What can you tell me about the tests? Uh, next week, we're going to be doing the Iowa assessments and the NWEA assessments. Who's going to be taking them? Uh, all 9th, 10th, and 11th graders. Everybody takes the Iowa assessments. 10th graders also have the privilege of getting to take the NWEA as well, just like they did in the fall. Now, when are the tests going to be taken? The tests are going to start Monday, March 30th, and goes all week long in the morning uh, through Friday, April 3rd. Where should students go for the testing? Students need to report to their homeroom. Uh, if you have any special testing arrangements, you'll receive a note about where to report, or your homeroom teacher can tell you. What should students bring? Students need to bring number two pencils and the calculator. Uh, please don't plan on using your phone as a calculator and please don't bring food or drink. Is there anything else you'd like to add? It's just important that everybody comes in and does their best. Uh, we'll compare your achievements from year to year and our school also gets compared to other schools um, in how we perform. So please get plenty of sleep and um, be prepared to do your best next week. Mr. Goodell, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. That's testing week next week here at Linmar. Maddie, back to you. Thanks, Becky. In other news, the Variety Show dress rehearsals today after school in the auditorium. If you are using pre-recorded music, please bring it in on a CD. The Variety Show is tomorrow and Friday at 7 in the auditorium. Tickets are just $6 and are available at the door. No activity passes are accepted. Any questions? CD Westbrook in room 112. Underclassmen, how would you like to run for student council? Information meetings are in the Little Theater, today after school at 3.45 or tomorrow morning at 8. You must attend one of the meetings to be eligible to run in the election, so please attend. We'll be back with more LMTV news right after this. Lion's Den Store is open this weekend. It's the only place where you can get the official Linmar gear. T-shirts, sweatshirts, shorts, and much, much more. How much more? Much, much more. Check it out this Saturday from 9 a.m. to noon. What time? 9 a.m. to noon. In the lower comments. Saturday, 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 9 a.m. to noon. See you there. Welcome back. You'll find 25 to 40 percent off selected school t-shirts and sweatshirts at the Booster Club's clothing sale. Check it out. Time is running out to sign up for both summer and fall internships. Earn five Linmar credits. Go to workplace-learning.org. Hurry, the deadline is Tuesday. Now Amanda's here for this morning's sports. Amanda? Thanks, Maddie. In the wide world of Lamar sports, volleyball open gym will be held Monday and Thursdays from 6.30 to 8 p.m. starting Monday, April 6th. All high school girl, girl volleyball players are invited to attend. It's in a real badminton time. Forms can be picked up from any PE teacher or in the athletic office. Competition will be held before at school starting on March 31st and will run for three weeks. Teams can be all male, female, or co-ed. Come join the fun! If you are planning on playing baseball this summer, make sure you have filled out a sign-up form in the athletic office. And online baseball clothing orders are due Monday. Plus, baseball pitcher and catcher workouts start tomorrow at 6 p.m. in the main gym. That's sports. Maddie, back to you. Thanks, Amanda. Badminton sounds like fun. In news from the counselors, the deadline for many scholarships is coming up in early April. That is just a few days away. Don't procrastinate. For more information on this story, stop by your counselor's office or check out their blog and website. Now Jasmine joins us with the Arts and Clubs. Thanks, Maddie. On the Arts and Clubs scene, it's the newest club on campus. Discover Esperanto, the international language that's designed to be easy to learn. Come to the first meeting of the new Esperanto Club Friday morning at 7.30 in Mr. Kibbe's room. There will be a short thespian meeting today at 3.30 in Mrs. Smith's room. See an officer if you cannot attend. Attention, all Model UN members. Your next meeting is tomorrow morning at 8 in room E133. 
National Honor Society Juniors, the time to submit officer nomination papers has been extended to Monday, March 30th. Rise up to the challenge! Fellowship of Christian Athletes will gather Friday morning at 8 in Mr. Hefley's room. Everyone is welcome. That's your club update. Maddie, back to you. Thanks, Jasmine. I'll be sure to check out Esperanto Club. Hey, Amanda, what's for lunch? Well, it's a barbecue pulled pork sandwich and baked beans, or the yoga bar. In the food court, it's the world-famous pasta bar. That's lunch. Back to you. Thanks, Amanda. That sounds delicious. Your LMTV forecast calls for a chance of sprinkles this afternoon with a high of 49. Tomorrow will be sunny and breezy with a high of 41, and Friday looks sunny and 36 degrees. That wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. Remember, LMTV is always available online. Just go to the high school website or follow us on Twitter. For the entire cast and crew, thanks for watching. Join us again tomorrow and make it a fabulous day, Lenmar.